Hello, my name is Alan. Let me show you around Active Collab. First thing we have to do is log in. Just have to enter my email address and password. After logging in, you are taken to the home screen, which shows a summary of all data important to you. Other segments include the people section, which is basically your address book, projects, where you will be doing most of your work, the invoices section for billing your clients, reports, which allow you to summarize your project's information, the calendar to display entries with due dates, documents for storing different kinds of files, and the settings page accessible only to the administrator users. Returning to the home screen, you can see it takes us to the What's New tab, which shows you all the updates made to items that you're assigned to or subscribed to in the last 30 days. This is a great way to learn what's been going on and to stay in the loop. We have another tab here called My Tasks, which only shows you the tasks that you are responsible for. You can even preview the task details without leaving this page. This will do the job for the majority of users without having to dig deeper into the system. The home screen can also be customized with additional tabs. Simply click on the cogwheel icon to add a new tab layout. We can populate the custom tabs with widgets that display projects, different kinds of tasks, tracked time or expenses, system notifications and discussions. Let's click on a custom tab and see how it looks once it's been set up. As you can see, Active Collab allows you to customize your working environment to display the information that is relevant to you and your team. As the name implies, Active Collab is built around collaboration. And before we can get any work done, we have to invite other people. To add a new user, I only have to enter the email address and choose a user's system role. This will influence what the user can see and do in Active Collab. If we choose the administrator role, we will give the user full access. The manager role will allow the user full access, but only to the parts we specify. The employee or subcontractor role will give users limited access to only the things that matter to them. Finally, the client role allows a lease access and is intended for clients who only need to spectate and track project progress. You can also fine tune users' permissions per project to see what parts of the project they can access or modify. Speaking of projects, every project in Active Collab consists of a project overview page, the outline page, milestones, tasks, discussions, files, notebooks, and time and expenses. The project overview shows important project information such as budget and progress, due dates, recent activities, and it also allows you to add users to the project. Let me invite a new person and set the project access permissions. Once you have invited other users, you can start outlining important project phases by opening the Milestones tab. Let's add a new milestone. Set a start date and a due date and choose an assignee. Once added, milestones can easily be rescheduled. Rescheduling a milestone also allows you to change the due dates for the tasks associated with the milestone. After you've defined a date range for your project, open tasks and start adding what needs to be done. The tasks are basic building blocks of Active Collab. They are the necessary steps required to finish a project. When creating a new task, you will be able to choose a title, a description, and an assignee. You can also subscribe other users to keep them posted about progress and updates. To keep your tasks organized, you can also choose category, a project phase or milestone, the priority, whether or not the task will be visible to the client, a due date, a time estimate, work type, and the label to indicate the stage of the task life cycle. Every task allows you to attach files or insert images into the description. We can now see how the task looks once it's been added. The tasks on the list can also be grouped in different ways or moved around. To 
create a list of tasks quickly, you can also use the outline. As you can see, I am using my keyboard to quickly input milestones, tasks and subtasks. You may be wondering what we can do now, after the foundation of the project has been set up. Well, this is where the collaboration bit comes into play. Your team members will be able to update and complete tasks, and you will be notified by receiving a notification just like this one. As you can see, a person has made a comment on a task. Clicking the notification will take us to that task, and we can leave a reply. Active Collab also supports email notifications. So if I open up my email client, I can see the comment has been made. If I reply to that email, that will leave a comment in Active Collab. Going back, we can see that the comment has been posted. This is very practical because I don't have to log in to post a comment. Active Collab also lets you create discussions, which allows you to exchange ideas or make group decisions. Or you can use Active Collab to store files. In case a file is a work in progress, you can upload different versions. All versions will be stored and you can revert at any time. If you have created a text document, you will be able to track changes and compare different versions. For more serious collaborative writing, you can use notebooks. Just like with text documents, you can track different versions. What makes notebooks different is that you can organize documents as pages and subpages. This is especially useful for writing wiki-like documentation or user manuals, which you can then share via a public URL. So one part of Active Collab is collaboration. The other is tracking progress. After completing tasks and milestones, the project progress bar will indicate the completion percentage. Remember how we set a time estimate for the task? By clicking the clock icon, your team members can track time against that task. This can give you insight into how much time it took to complete it or how much to charge your clients for your services. In case there has been some cost associated, they can also log expenses. A handy app that you can use with Active Collab is the timer. Instead of having to log the time manually, users can simply track time with a push of a button and submit it right to Active Collab. The Time and Expenses tab will give you an overview of all the logged time and expenses on the project. Clicking on the timesheet will display the logged time per user in a calendar view. The fillable time and expenses log will also directly influence a project budget and let you know it needs to be adjusted. Once you have a couple of projects up and running, you'll be able to track the progress on the home screen and see all the items with a due date on the calendar. The timeline view is also handy to show you the progress of all your projects. Or if you need specific bits of information, you can generate a report the assignments report will allow you to list all the tasks in your Active Collab. Or just tasks assigned to Anna. With the label finished, in the category, well, you get the idea. Going back to the report, the workload report will allow you to see your users' tasks for a given day, week or month. If you see that the team member is overbooked, you can easily reassign the task to someone else. Simply drag and drop it in place. And remember the time and expenses of a project? Well, the time and expenses report, you can get a list of billable hours and create an invoice from that data. This brings us to another powerful feature of Active Collab, invoicing. When you have finished a project, you'll be able to create invoices and bill your clients for the work that you have done. Invoices can be generated from projects, tasks, reports, or made from scratch. In case you have some recurring services at a fixed price, you can make use of the invoicing item templates or create recurring invoices, which can be issued automatically. Your client will receive a notification email 
and if you have a payment gateway enabled such as Stripe, Braintree, PayPal or Authorize.net, they will be able to pay immediately. ActiveCollab will let you keep track of the invoices and see which are overdue. You can even set up automatic reminders so that the system sends out an email to remind the client that the invoice is overdue. Speaking of clients, ActiveCollab has a number of features which are built around the client. We already mentioned paying invoices. There's also quotes which can be sent to clients and converted to invoices and projects. You can also share individual parts of a project like tasks or files with your client. And they don't even have to log into ActiveCollab. It's completely up to you how much you wish to involve them. The thing about ActiveCollab is that it can be as simple or as complex as needed. The administration part is where you can customize almost everything. As you can see, ActiveCollab is a fully configurable and customizable working environment. We sincerely hope that you will find it useful and that it will make managing projects and collaboration easier for you.